Hey everybody. So, what's in the news today? And uh, today is Friday, February 15th, 1929. So, uh, I've got new newspapers here, two newspapers, the Boston Advertiser and the Wisconsin News. And I thought we'd go through these page by page. So, um, this Boston Advertiser has two top stories. On one side it has 52 hurt and a big blast. And on the other side, there was a gangland shooting in Chicago and several people were killed. So we're going to read about both of these stories and see what else is going on today. Um, this woman's legs were seriously injured in the explosion as you can see. They actually, uh, had to rescue people out of windows. It was a really terrible explosion. Flaming blast wrecks streets. So this paper cost two cents. This was a final edition, which didn't mean the last newspaper they were ever going to print, but it meant the final edition of the day. They had morning editions and evening editions. The weather in Boston, cloudy, little change in temperature, shifting winds. Light all vehicles at 5.40 p.m. Actually, 5.46. That's very specific. Time to turn your headlights on. B50, boost your bank account. See page two. Oh, but when we turn the page, that mafia shooting is on the second page. Slaying gangsters were removed by police. In the police inquiry that looms over Chicago's gangdom was taken when the bodies were removed for examination by high officials of the police department. Kidnap and torture leader. Chicago, February 14th. George Bugs Moran, leader of the vast Alki Syndicate, and another man not known or believed by the police to be kidnapped and now subjected to torture to wrest from them intimate secrets of gangland following the slaughter of seven of Moran's gang today by two carlords of killers who swooped down on the north side stronghold. Chicago crowds gather at scene of gang slain. So on Valentine's Day, seven gangsters got gunned down. By Al Capone. And then on the next page, we're talking about 52 injured in the blast. And it wasn't just the blast, but it was the stampede where people got trampled. Fleeing in a mad panic with the explosions of 26 manholes shook Boston's shopping center like the blast of bombs. Two persons were seriously injured and 50 others hurt as terror stricken thousands trampled each other yesterday afternoon. And there's a map that shows the explosion. Some of the injured people. Um, here's uh, Feline's automatic bargain basement where you can get a dress for $3.95 or a felt hat for $1.69. Sweaters. Miss Doris Buell. She is awarded the title of the healthiest girl in Michigan. Canes, 740 Washington Street, Boston. Furniture, $139 for 14 piece Persian mohair living room complete. Wow. You can get this nice radio for $137.50. A bed, Simmons. I don't think it's a beauty rest, but it's a Simmons panel bed for seventeen fifty. Dining room set for thirteen ninety five. Gilcrest Taylor crepe dresses four ninety five. Miss Minnie Stahl of St. Louis who's been awarded the $30 a month pension of her husband, August Stahl, Spanish-American war veteran, whom she slew in 1924. She was exonerated because of self-defense. More 
Gilchrist. Perfume coats for $25. What are other store gives you all these advantages? Scott Furrier's fur coats at unbelievable prices. $75 to $195. Wow, that's a savings. Took pride under fear of his life, says boy husband. He was 18 years old. Wow. Substantial savings today at First National Stores or New England buys its foods. Campbell's soup, three cans for 25 cents. Shredded wheat. Ivory soap, Del Monte pears. Wow, these are some good bargains. Raymond's leather jackets, skirts, dresses, coats, spring dresses, skirts, and kids' clothes. $10 to Montreal. That's pretty cheap. Morgan's furniture, 165 for complete. Electric radio, exquisite three car frame suite. Wow. So you get the radio and the furniture for 165 Am I reading that correctly? Suite or radio may be purchased separately if desired. Look at the furniture sets and look at the bargains. This is 1929, so the depression hadn't really kicked in yet. These are still good prices. Why berries? Why well, berries? You could buy a radio too. 1929 Majestic, number 71, for 137.50. It's a radio sensation. The new 1929 Majestic. 71 price less tubes sold on every on easy terms at cash prices with no interest charges added as you pay as agreed flower 98 cents at a p stores chesterfield cigarettes mild enough for anybody and yet they satisfy mildness without flatness mildness without with taste it's all in the blend and the blend can't be copied Find ambitious, find ambitious cops didn't cheat at exams. That's good to know. Slice bacon, 27 cents at A&P. Keep it a secret and then forget it. The coward's shoe. If you have a bunion and there isn't really reason why anybody who glances at your feet casually should suspect a fact, no need either for we have a special bunion shoe with a concealed pocket which keeps the bunion a secret from the world and they call it the coward shoe. It's kind of shaming you. Mrs. Lindbergh's reported fiance happily married. <laughs> I wonder if they're talking about. Oh, it's not Charles Lindbergh. It's Evangeline Lindbergh. Um, that's kind of like clickbait. But she's related to him. Lindy emulates Hoover and goes on fishing trip. At this time, Charles Lindbergh was like a massive hero in the United States. 2,000 new hats at Bradley's. $1.37. Wow. Society pages. Valentine's Day prizes. This is like Valentine's Day stuff. Holiday merrymakers. Burns of Love, Swains, Who Can Lick Me, Huh? Dead Man Reappears, Henry J. Young for Years in Low, who died, Engineer of the Belvedere Mills, who died three years ago, reappeared the other day in the form of an apparition on the wall. His friends declare the mirage formed a coal dust on the wall of a boiler room of the factory shown above. I'm not sure if that's him or not. 
I need to see a picture of him. I'm just hungry. Hey, kitty. Why are you meow? He's watching me with lots of intensity. New fascist Melissa takes oath. That would be in Italy. And that's Mussolini on the horse. Miss Patsy Goldweight. She's a aviator. And she's wearing some very uh, uh, interesting aviator clothing. Vicks Vapors. Children's color is best treated externally. Fish. Here's the fish dealers at A&P. Looks like A&P bought an ad on every page. Here's Salmon on this page. Thousands of panic and summer street blasts. And we're still talking about and the trampling. It's almost on every page. Women fate in frenzied scramble to safety. Traffic officer gives dramatic recital blast. Boston streets and wild terraces eyewitness. Wilbur's 455 Washington Street. Here is the entertainment page. Um, and if you recognize any of these movies, you probably are a film buff. Um, just kind of scan so you can see the entertainment articles and the movies um Van and Shink Nancy Carroll and Sin's sister The Wolf of Wall Street the original version Vagabond King The Outsider Sunrise with Janet Gaynor I've actually seen that The Hometowners uh, The Whispering Gallery the Trail of 98, um, The Ghost Talks, George Jesso and the War Song, a lot of these movies are probably lost forever too, a lot of them just didn't make it over time, the Celluloid, Decomposed. Five dollar blotto is made by schoolboy. A blotto like a Warshak test. How to make a good blotto. I guess that was a big thing back then. Los Alas permanent wave. Here's the comics. Tilly the Toiler. This kinda reminds me of Blondie, like a flapper version of Blondie. Gosh, the, the the artwork is so much like Blondie. Um, the Tune Reveal Trolley, Horoscopes, Beauty, Charming Afternoon Frock, Health Tips, Shaping and Coloring the Fingernails, The Advertiser Credo, Salubrious Shores, and some girls exercising. Playing football, looks like. He's gifted 82. Prince unhorsed. Sally of Show Alley by Homer and King Gordon. The Nebs. And here we have some ads for. Stuff like vegetable tonic after operations. Tommy Tucker comic crossword puzzle. More comics. The Black Crows. Um, the Vagrant. Love six suicides. Not great lovers, but great fools. Says Fay King. 
today's bets bets on radio programs and you can see what was on the radio in Boston here's the radio um, schedule and there's quite a lot I mean I had programs called Dutch Girls Thayer McNeil program news dispatches four o'clock tea noise n noise brothers duo Florida citrus growers sundown Syncom painters, stock market and business. They actually had quite a lot of radio for the 20s. Um, if you go to the Radio Broadcast Vault, uh, the channel I like to go to, I need to put a link to it on my page. The uh, gentleman on that page has, um, is doing every single day from 1939 to 1945 on radio as it the schedule that day so you can kind of also almost listen to it in real time it's it's pretty great if you like history Jack Shabrick's three mile record sports page cigarettes only two players and Braves get away baseball Massachusetts bonding and instruction and there's boxing And then there's American League baseball schedule. These are horse races. And there's some more ads mixed in. Professor Lewis the Sheik from Persia. He's obviously ripping off Rudy Valentino. And then, of course, the back page we already saw. So that covers the Boston Advertiser. So let's go ahead and uh, switch gears here and open up the Wisconsin News. It's a bigger paper. Let's move it over so we got room. It's called Civic Leaders and Grand Jury Quiz. This is a three cent paper. The other one was a two cent. This is the evening edition. Oh, executioners at Gangland like Slew Fools. Cat saves six and fire. Bowman is to sift facts, temperature to climb forecasts. Federal Dry Chief expects Slayer's name today, um, i.e., the head of Bureau of Alcohol Enforcement. Um, dry Director Hurls challenge at Duncan. I think they, at this point, they said the word dry almost derisively. At this point, people were so sick and tired of all the violence from Prohibition. Like this shooting on Valentine's Day. Just crazy seven people gunned down in cold blood. Even, even if they were criminals, it's still pretty extreme. And I, I mean... That's what prohibition cost. Now you can read the secrets of Reno's mad divorce dance. It's a soap opera. You can read it in there. In the newspaper. They just put the graphic picture right in the paper here. I mean, they did clean it up a little bit, but it's still pretty gruesome. Um, they've cut some of the blood and brains out of it but it's you get the picture pretty terrible just this mass killing is just uh, these six paid with lives for crime one of them was just a auto mechanic he didn't even I mean he might have known the, the criminals but he wasn't like an active bootlegger so one of them was just sort of at the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, Given Bezler's wife state aid, woman sobs out thanks. Are held in probe regarding baby killing. Rescue, tiny rescue. There's the cat that saved six from a fire. How cool is that? That's one brave cat. And moral. This is the fiance of Charles Lindbergh. And that's going to be a big deal. This is the house, I believe, in New Jersey. 
Inguria, where um, the kidnapping occurred. If you follow history, you'll know that the uh, Lindbergh baby was kidnapped out of that house. Out of the window right there. That's a lot of great information in this paper. Funeral tomorrow for Mrs. Minnie Kohler, mother of Governor Kohler. Okay. She was the mother of the governor. Temperance. Monsters rebuilding sale. With this furniture company. Oh, my cats are fighting. Sorry for the hissing. They just, they're not fighting really. They just like to play with each other. Here's that fake ad again. Not to give medicine to the kid, but to it extremely. Um, Calumet baking powder. And here's some Goldfish Incorporated, and here's some of the deals you can get. It looks like a general store. U.S. drunkenness increases. Even though alcohol was illegal? Really? So intoxication gain under dry law. In other words, prohibition was a huge failure. And it, it, they even make it into a joke. Like the rules and conditions of the contest are simple. And these are written like a joke. It's... Here's a contest where you can get drunk. And, you know, I mean, it's... It, it's really, um... They didn't take it seriously at this point. Waldheim's furniture. These great deals on furniture. Diamond rings for $197 here. At Max Gross. Buy one of Smart for Doors. New Society Club Hats arrive. Brims narrow and crowns high for five bucks. Shirts with two collars to match for $1.75. Sweater ensemble. Across the AC, all electric and Chippendale show chests, complete with tubes. Wow, that's a heck of a radio. Alternating current, all electric. Uh, Delesco Ram bloomers. Dotted and striped, these new frocks. Some silver. Red Robin Hosiery Shop. Raymond Hitchcock. National Family Stores. It's just announcing that on and after March 1st, the Badger and the Columbia will be known as the National Family Stores. Okay. Biggest value in Milwaukee's history. 17 dollar electric coffee urn that is the biggest value in Milwaukee's history right here it's this coffee urn cleaning company Walgreens you can still shop at Walgreens and they still sell virtually the same thing makeup candy some house goods medicine lotion I mean, it's the same stuff. One cent sale, so bring some pennies with you when you go to Walgreens, and you can go home with antiseptic and Fletcher's toothpaste, bay rum, cologne, cocoa almond soap, washcloths, hospital cotton, coconut oil, and egg shampoo. Wow. Just right cleaning fluid. Here's the drugs. Anison tablets, phenolax wafers, phosphocod tonic, new joe, listerine, bomb bengay, scots in motion, petrol lager, bromocelsor, lysol, vicks vapor rub, resonant ointment, pepsida toothpaste, nurido for rheumatism, marmola tablets, fletcher's castoria, syrup of figs, phenomic gum, hienfong essence, Iodent toothpaste, OPEX liquid for codes. Wow. 
You also get yourself a cigar. You can also get some toiletries. Um, it's just to me. I could look at this stuff all day because I'm, I'm looking at stuff that from another era. Um, if you lived in, you'd know what all this was. The, so much of this stuff is sort of lost to time. Paramount going out of business. Paramount, and they had batteries, B batteries. I wonder what B batteries were. Power tubes, that's for radio, I guess. Storage batteries. Just look at how narrow the car tires were. Dorson's clothing store. Boys and Roll Now in the Junior Aviation League of Milwaukee. Bromo Quinine. I vaguely hear the strains of an ice cream truck outside. Gimbals, sale of men's shirts. Society page. Laura Sherry. Dinner concert Sunday night will attract many to club. Romance exits and modern footwear. Hills Brothers coffee. And six foot waffles. I'll tell you what. Coffee and waffle sounds really good right now. <laughs> yes. After getting off work, can't think of anything better. Looking them over, I should just go to Waffle House after doing this. Here's the sports pages. Look at the graphic. Just take a look at this. They made this crystal ball, and he's he's uh, Harold Zip Morgan's looking at the crystal ball, and see how they. They colored it in with like a crayon and then they sort of teased in these photographs. It's just really cool how they accomplished effects back then. Overcoats for the end of the season. Here's a sports cartoon. Babe Ruth's own book of baseball. Chesterfield, the Kellogg Radio 115, three piece genuine art built mohair suite reduced from 350 to 235 for this beautiful couch, and you get two chairs to go with it one with a rounded top, and one with a sort of squared off top. The Hartman's downtown store. Richmond's clothes, twenty-two fifty. Wife or mother, man's greatest asset, says Ford. Sears Roebuck and Company. And it shows their prices for radios. We're seeing a lot of the most popular things too. Radios are very popular for obvious reasons. It is a groundbreaking new type of entertainment. Irma stores. Get your groceries there. Butter, cheese. Honey, rice, salada, tea, Sawyer's Patsy cookies, sardines, crab meat, sun sweet prunes, apricots, Cheerios. Oh my gosh, I didn't know we had Cheerios yet. Cigarettes, Camel, Lucky Striker, Chesterfields, Waldorf Tissue. And then here's an ad for the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company. And you can also get groceries there. Eggs and India tea. Cynical peaches. Have or slice yellow clean. Kitchen cleanser. And here's independent packing house markets. DF Market Company. And this is where you buy your your meat and butter and your basic commodities for the kitchen. Royal Baking Powder, Wonder Bread, it's slow baked, shows the the skyscraper engineer eating his sandwich made off Wonder Bread, full flavored Kudahays, Wisconsin, P. 
peacock him. And here's Piggly Wiggly. And oh, it's big in the south. I didn't know they had it in Wisconsin. And it shows the um, different deals you can get there. 19 Columbia programs over WISN. And they're talking about the radio channel, WISN. Probably, probably short for Wisconsin. Most of the radio call signs back then had actual meanings or their acronyms. Like, for example, WJSV in Virginia stood for, uh, it's like, uh, JSV. It was like something religious. J Jesus Saves Virginia, I think, is what it stood for. And here's the radio programs. In Wisconsin, Chicago stations and wavelength battle radio compasses are needed on vessels. Oh, the old Atwater Kent radio, the classic radio from the Golden Age of Radio, for $129. That would be one of your better ones. Um, Kramer Radio Show, radio stores, growth is rapid. Well, everyone was buying a radio. Every family needed one, because music, drama, sports, news, everything was on the radio. Fodder radio. Harmonated reception. Look at that beauty. And all the details, and it shows you all the places where you can pick one up. And then there's more um, radio information about new shows coming out. Here we go here. Samson's Wisconsin's foremost radio dealers comparison sale. So you got two radio dealers competing with each other on two pages. And Samson's gonna show you their deals where you can buy their products. Oh, but we're not done. Because here we have Kramer and their radio ads. Troop sees gambling palace. See, they're already around all the radio stuff. We're seeing all the prohibition enforcement news. Wow. Last rights for H. Hassel tomorrow. Raymond Hitchcock will be here to welcome you to the opening of our new store at Kramer. So, Raymond Hitchcock's going to be there to sign autographs while you pick up your radio at Kramer, the new location. You can save here, Economy Boys. This is where you want to buy your radio if you want to save money because you can buy parts. You can make your own radio. If you go to Economy Boys, I mean, you they got what you need if you have the know-how to make your own radio. Buy the parts and save some money. I tell you what, I'd rather pay sixty-six fifty than $110 and then buy a few parts to make my own radio make it out of a lemon and a piece of aluminum foil. The stock market is uneasy with money issue unsettled. Well, it's 1929, so this would not be a good year for Wall Street. This was the end of an era. Here's the classified section, and we have everything from death notices to personal loans, lost and found, Bureau permits birth records, um, lawyers, employment agencies, lady solicitor to call and professional businessmen apply. That, that was a female attorney. Um, wow. It's just amazing to see all of this life that's long gone. All of these all of these peoples, these were the most important things to someone's life. Eighty, nine, ninety years ago. I mean this was this was people's lives.
when you really start to think about it, all of this was life in motion. All of this was... This was people's connection to the outside world. This is what they read in the morning or the evening to get ready and plan their day, to stay in tune with what was happening in the world. It's just the entertainment and comics. You probably see the same movies that we saw in the last paper. The Boston paper. So I mean, I see a few different ones. Raymond Hitchcock, Al Jolson, and the Jazz Singer. Um, so many of these movies are lost forever. In West of Zanzibar, I mean, for all we know, this maybe two others still exist. And here we have the comics. And um, Dimble Theater, Crazy Cat, Polly and Her Pals, AB the Agent, Jerry on the Job, Just Kids, Skippy, Film Fables. Alias. It's a ghost story, it looks like. Yeah, this is like a serial. This is um, stories. The people would follow. Dumb Dora. <laughs> the Sky Raider. Here's your crossword puzzle. And we finally make it to the last page. Political cartoon. And uh, a little religious portion. And some other miscellaneous things. So I hope you enjoyed these two newspapers. And I hope you enjoyed the video. It was just fun for me to look through all this stuff. I can look through this for hours and just marvel at everything. But, you know, if you like it, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.